3D Scan System. This system gives the user the ability to view a three-dimensional image of the earth layers to show the burials and the minerals buried underground so that it gives you a shape similar to the shape of the target. How to use the 3D scan system? Make sure that the PowerMax 55 sensor of the 3D search system is connected and tighten the clamp well. Turn on the device. A screen will appear containing the 3D scan icon. Choose it. When you press OK, a menu will appear for choosing the type of scanning and selecting its method. In the case of the manual scan, choose 3 for the number of lines and 3 for the number of columns. Choose the starting point from the left and click the Start icon. The system will ask to go over the scanning area to calibrate the system. Stand over the area, point the device vertically, and move steadily in the scanning area. To start, press the grip key and wait for the message calibrated. A screen will appear with the number of lines and columns you have selected. Press the grip key and move a step, then stop and then move a second step and stop, and in each step, the grip key should be pressed, and so on, until the end of the number of lines. At the end of the last line, you will move sideways to the other column, and then press the grip key without turning. Take a step back, and then stop, and press the grip key and continue so on until you finish the last line in the second column. The device gives an individual alert when scanning each part of the search area and gives a prolonged alert when each column has been scanned. After completing the scan process, the result will appear in the form of a colored image with several colors showing the earth layers that were scanned and the targets discovered in the scan area. Next to the image, there are analytical icons for the scan result which are Check Target icon. Click on Check Target in order to see the details of the image. Using the arrows, you can switch between the positions of the image. Press OK to identify the soil type to get the exact target depth and scanning parameters. Data Chart icon. Click on the Data Chart option in order to analyze the image and find out the element's percentage in it. 3D View icon. Click on 3D View to view the target image in multiple 3D patterns and shapes. Save Image icon. Press Save Scan in order to save the result in the device's memory and return to it later. The result will be saved in the current time and date. To view saved scan images, go to Settings and select the Storage icon, where you can view images of previously saved scans and reanalyze or delete them. Live Scan System The system gives the user the ability to detect metals and voids very easily, regardless of the conditions and environment of the target place as it detects electromagnetic fields formed around metals and voids and shows the result live on the screen. Live Scan System Method Make sure the PowerMax 55 Live Scan sensor is connected and tighten the clamp well. Turn on the device. Choose the Live Scan icon from the system's main interface. On the right side, a grid window will appear to display the live parameters. And on the left side, there are three indicators. Balance Indicator, Sensitivity Indicator, Gain Indicator, in addition to the calibration icon. How to use Live Scan System Hold the device perpendicular to the ground. Choose the calibration icon from the system screen interface. 
press OK to enter the calibration system. Press the Handle button to start the calibration process. Wait for the system to finish balancing the device. A message will appear that shows the calibration process has been completed. Keep the device vertical and move forward and follow the color changes within the mesh window. Where the green color appears and symbolizes the soil nature, the red color symbolizes metals, and the blue color symbolizes caves and voids. Long Range System This system stimulates the static electric field of a specific target within the search field, if it exists, then the moving antennas begin to automatically gravitate towards those signals returned from the target. After repeating the search process from several directions and making sure that the antennas point to the same target location every time. Long Range System Search Method for a Specific Target Turn on the device, then choose the Long Range icon from the main screen. Install the PowerMax 25 sensor at the designated entrance, tighten the clamp well, and then install the antennas in its place. A screen will appear to specify the characteristics of the target before the search process. Select the target to search for using the right and left arrows from the screen interface. For example, Gold. Choose the front distance. Then choose the depth of the target, 50 meters as an example. Then turn on the laser pointer to better know the direction of the search pointer. Long Range System Search Method Hold the device handle horizontally towards the front to start the search process. Press the Start button, then the device starts sending signals through the Long Range Signal Transmitter, where the signals stimulate the electrostatic field of a specific target within the search field, if it exists. Watch the antenna's movement and direction that are heading towards the signals emanating from the target, and when it stops in a certain direction, turn to that direction, move two steps forward, and then do that again, and head with the antennas wherever you go until you know where you are pointing. Determining Target Using Custom Target Method From the list of targets, choose the custom target and then press the OK key to have the opportunity to modify the frequency of the desired metal through the left and right arrows to change the thousands digit in the frequency or through the up and down arrows to modify the frequency in the single number field. You will see that you can decrease or increase the search frequency by a maximum of 25 Hz plus or minus and that each degree of frequency change adjustment is about 1 Hz. For example, the main frequency of gold is 5000 Hz as a default value. If you set it to plus 5, the frequency will only increase by 5 Hz to 5005 Hz. Or if you set it to minus 10, the frequency will drop from 5000 Hz to 4990 Hz. The user must change the setting and save it when he gets the strongest response from the buried sample. Then select the target front distance, depth, frequency, and follow the previous steps in the search process. Determining target using the box method. The user draws a square around the target that was previously found at a distance of 150 centimeters from the center. Then the user moves towards the second point of the square so that the antennas move towards the target while the user moves from one point to another in the square. Make sure at each of the four corners that the antennas are pointing in the same direction and then you can know that the target you are looking for is at the location of the signal that has been placed and that the search process has been successful. Ion Search System 
This system detects gold buried for long periods underground. Based on capturing the ion radiations emitted by the metal as a result of its interaction with the soil for long periods. And through this system, the ancient buried gold treasures can be detected easier and faster. Ion System Search Method Make sure that the PowerMax 25 sensor of the ion system is connected and tighten the bolt well. Turn on the device. Choose the ion system icon from the main screen interface. A screen will appear that contains three items. Balance control on the right side, sensitivity control on the left side, and the signal strength pointer in the middle. Hold the device horizontally towards the front to start the search process. How to use the ION system? Press the grip key and the device will perform the automatic calibration process and identify the search area. Note, if there is a continuous sound, reduce the balance rate until the device is silent. And if it does not respond, lower the sensitivity rate until the sound from the device disappears. When carrying the device and before you move, slowly direct the device to the right until it receives a signal. If no signal was received, turn slowly to the left until receiving a signal. When a signal is received, a sound indicator will react again. Follow the signal place and locate it by moving right, left, up, and down until the signal stabilizes. Then you have located the target. Magneto Scan System This system detects targets through the magnetic field emitted by a buried metal in the soil in addition to the possibility of detecting caves and voids through the magnetic field changes occurring in the soil through time. Magnetoscan Search Method Install the PowerMax 55 sensor of the Magnetoscan system in the designated entrance and tighten the clamp well. Turn on the device. Then choose the Magneto Scan icon from the main screen. A screen appears with three indicators on the left and a window for the target indicator on the right. Sensitivity to increase the sensor PowerMax 55 sensitivity. Gain to increase the effectiveness of detecting weak signals. Balance to determine the reference point of the sensor. Ground Balancing of Magneto Scan System First Method – Automatic Calibration This is the recommended method for ground balancing. Hold the device by the handle perpendicular to the floor. Select the Target Indicator window with the right navigation button. A calibration window will appear. Press the grip key to start the automatic ground balancing process. The pointer starts to move automatically and this indicates that the calibration process is underway and the necessary rates are being calculated. Keep the device toward the ground, vertically and steadily. Wait for a while and when the phrase calibrated appears, the ground balancing process is over. Keep the previous position and move to the right and left to start the search for the target. The second method is manual calibration. Hold the device by the handle perpendicular to the floor. The device will beep continuously. Press the grip key to take the default balancing value of the indicator. When the device sound stops, the balancing is done. If the sound continues, the sensitivity indicator and the gain indicator must be reduced by the down arrow and press the grip key every time the sensitivity and gain are changed until the sound stops. 
so the balancing process has been completed. Keep the previous position and move to the right and left to start the search for the target.